Okay, so don't crucify me. I, I like Black Panther. I really do. But like, are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to Everyday Nerd, the B-Sides editions. I'm your host, Zack Snyder. And on the B-Sides, we talk about the new and trending topics in shorter, unsponsored episodes. And um, today's the day. You've been seeing me wear this hoodie. All these Oscar nominations. You're going to see it in a few more videos. But um, here we are. Inevitably, I had to talk about Black Panther soon. Because I'm doing the rewatch of the MCU before Avengers Endgame comes out. And apparently I need to talk about it sooner. Because it is nominated for Best Picture. And, and here's the deal. I like Black Panther. I do. I was excited for it to come out. I was hyping the theaters when I saw it. I proudly own the Black Panther Kendrick Lamar soundtrack. And yet, I also wish that this movie was just more than what it is. But we'll get to that in a bit. Directed by Ryan Coogler, Black Panther is the 18th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and it follows the events after Captain America's Civil War. It features T'Challa, the Black Panther, as he becomes King of Wakanda. We see the very first appearance of Wakanda, this hidden country that hosts the world's most valuable metal, Vibranium. And we see T'Challa as he must face the threats that come from being a new king, as well as deal with a black market dealer, Ulysses Qual and a long lost cousin who wants to just take over Wakanda, Eric Killmonger. On the surface, this is just another superhero movie with a cookie cutter plot and a protagonist that really doesn't have that much character. But when you really dig down deep into the movie, you realize that it's really just another superhero movie with a cookie cutter plot and a protagonist that doesn't really have much character. Here's my biggest issue with Black Panther. If you live in America, our country is so royally f***ed up when it comes to politics that people have made a superhero movie political. Now that's not to say that Black Panther is completely void from politics because it does deal with certain issues. The villain, Eric Killmonger, played by Michael B. Jordan, found his father dead when he was a child. He learns that he is from Wakanda, what the f***, Wakanda bullshit am I saying? He learns that he is from Wakanda, so when he grows up, he makes it his sole mission to find Wakanda and take it over. Because he's pissed that people like him have to deal with sh circumstances all around the world. And here's Wakanda just sitting there doing nothing to help anybody else but themselves. Honestly, this makes a whole lot of sense to me. But this is the villain that we're talking about. And the thing that separates him from being the hero is that one, Killmonger also wants to just go kill a bunch of other people and two the actual hero in this movie Doesn't actually have any motivation whatsoever Like we have T'Challa who becomes king and he's sad about his father's death from Civil War But but that's it other than that. He doesn't have any kind of internal struggle He doesn't seem to want to do anything heroic The only reason that he does open up Wakanda to the rest of the world at the end of the movie is because he learns from Killmonger. If anything, this movie is more so about Killmonger than it is T'Challa. And that's an issue when we go half of the movie without even a mention of Killmonger because there's another villain, Ulysses Claw. I'm not going to talk too much about Claw because honestly, I didn't care about this dude whatsoever. He has a few witty remarks that are kind of funny and he's the reason that we get this pretty cool scene in a Korean club. But other than that, he's just wasted screen time. We also get this government official Ross who is after Qual, and so he ends up being a big part of the movie for, I don't know, I didn't care about him either. Again, there's a couple of funny comedic moments because of him, but other than that, Ross is just a boring character. And that unfortunately ends up being the case for a good bit of the cast. I feel like the acting was good for the most part, but there were just too many characters that didn't have anything interesting about them. I like that Daniel Kaluuya was in this movie. He's great in Get Out, but just because they told him to get out in that movie, did that really mean he needed to go all the way to Wakanda? <laughs> I mean, he's good in this movie, but they don't really give him anything to work with. Chadwick Boseman plays T'Challa fairly well, but this character wasn't fleshed out well enough for me to be super interested in his character. And again, 
He's the main hero in this movie. I should love his character. When he's fighting as the Black Panther, it's really dope. And I love some of the action sequences here. But outside of the action, he's just bland. Shuri, T'Challa's sister, is annoying. She she makes a what are those joke. And um I I, I didn't know what movie I was watching for a second. And what are these? The real question is what are those? But I'll be honest, the reason I'm shitting so much on this movie right now is just because of how disappointed I am at the potential it had. Black Panther in the comics is one of the most interesting Marvel superheroes. He has one of the best villains in the entire MCU. It has such a great atmosphere to it. This entire movie, I love the world building to it. I love the opening of the movie and all the great shots of Wakanda. It's a beautiful film with great production design. Again, I love the Kendrick Lamar soundtrack. I've listened to it I don't know how many times. The orchestral score, it's pretty good. Not quite as good as Infinity War soundtrack, which actually deserves the Oscar nomination for best soundtrack. But you know what? I'm not that salty. It's okay. But with all these great things, there's just too many things that fall short. The characters are all bland. The pacing is a bit off. There's moments where the CGI is awful. Like there's just this entire fight scene between Black Panther and Killmonger that, that looks like a PlayStation 2 game. And uh, that coupled with the rhinos, I, I just don't get it because Infinity War came out in the same year and the CGI in that movie is pretty great. If anything, I'm just confused with, with all the great movies that we've had from the MCU in the last couple of years. I just wonder why this movie wasn't better than, than it is. And I don't think it's bad. I just think that a lot of people over exaggerate this movie on both ends. It's not the worst movie ever made, but it's also certainly not best picture worthy. But that's all the time we have for today. If you like the video, go hit that like button. If if you, if, if you hated me for not liking the movie as much as, as I could have, you can hit the dislike button. Let me know about your thoughts on Black Panther in the comments below. I know a lot of people argue over this movie, so be nice in the comments. And I'll be honest, I'll say that I, I preferred Infinity War over this. I wish that it had been nominated and instead as the very first superhero movie to be nominated for Best Picture. It's, it's kind of unfortunate that this is the first superhero movie. There are much better superhero movies than Black Panther. And uh, that's, I don't know, man. I don't know. But anyways, go and subscribe for more Your Everyday Nerd. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.